Thanks for sticking with us, I'm Landon Hoff. Now, when you think of high school sports, the first thing that comes to mind may not be video games, but for the first time ever, Chassa is throwing its full support behind eSports, and those involved in eSports say it's here to stay. The reason for that, it's giving more Colorado kids a place to belong. Hear from some of them in this Denver 7 360, your opinion. Like, one thing I always say is everyone's like, is eSport a real sport? And I'm like, yes, except it's less of a physical sport and more of a mental and stra strategic sport. Just like any other sport, kids can earn letters just like any other sport. There is a lot that it has in common with traditional team sports. Strategy, teamwork, communication skills are a really huge part of this. And that's what I try to develop as a coach is how the players are speaking to each other, communicating and strategizing. And for a lot of these students, they just haven't had a lot of social interactions in the past. They learn how to build relationships with one another and they, they're doing something they're very comfortable with. And then once they learn some of these social skills about being a group and being a team, they're more likely to go off and try something else. And uh, we've, we've seen an increase in attendance, I've had better grades. I've had several kids get college scholarship offers for video gaming, and I've had one um, student get a scholarship opportunity for streaming, for commentating for esports. So there's all sorts of ways to get involved. <laughs> Gamers know that gaming takes a lot of skill. Um, it's, it's very underrated. It takes a tremendous amount of skill and dexterity to be able to play these games at the level that these kids are playing at. Um, so it's really wonderful to see them get the recognition and the attention for something that takes a tremendous amount of time and skill. A lot of parents have kids who like, get involved with something, but there's nothing they can find that really suits them. And then, like, that's something that happened with me. I'm like, maybe I'll do baseball, but I'm not really into it. And then I saw an announcement that said, hey, you want to be interested in esports? And I'm like, that sounds like something I can get into. And later tonight, we're going 360 on eSports. We're hearing about the strategy, the teamwork, and hearing from those who question whether eSports belongs in the high school sports landscape. Our Russell Haythorn goes 360 tonight at 10.